Hey everyone, and welcome to my devlog where I share my experiences with development and hopefully can help you along the way as well. When I published my first devlog, I was not expecting such amazing reception. I started with only 9 subscribers, and since starting this video, now have 77 subscribers. We still have a lot to do, but also a lot to show. And I'm so excited to continue this journey of developing my dream game with all of you. Instead of continuing with the enemy system in this video, I wanted to start working a bit more on the visuals of the game. I've mainly been working on building the first area of the game, where the player wakes up on this cliffside next to this overlook. In the game, the current idea is there will be certain areas, like this overlook, that become waypoints for the player to travel back to. As you explore the world, there will be many really beautiful areas that give you this nice view of the world. For example, in the game Shadow of the Colossus, I love when the camera pans out and lets you view this amazing world you're about to explore. It gives this sense of grandeur that can really let the player's imagination run wild with possibilities. Because I want to make the game very cinematic, I've been using Unity's Cinemachine camera system to get these really nice camera views. I accomplish this by adding a cube object that has this red transparent material on it. I then set the collision to be a trigger box. I add this simple script that sets the camera priority of the past in Cinemachine camera. The main camera's priority is always set to 1, and all alternative cameras are all set to priority of 0 by default. If I want to override the main camera with an alternate camera, the script will set the priority of the alternate camera to 2. Cinemachine does a great job of creating these smooth transitions automatically. It's also really fun to test different angles to get a different perspective of the world. I really wanted to make sure the game has good level design. The Dark Souls series does a good job of this, where you can explore the world, but then you find these shortcuts that get you back to areas you have previously explored. We really wanted to make sure we could iterate on different level designs easily and quickly, so we decided to use ProBuilder. ProBuilder is a great tool to create and model things directly in the Unity editor. You can start by blocking out the areas and then slowly iterating on it until you get the design you like. I can also create these paths really easily by using the ProBuilder cut tool and cutting directly into the mesh. You can mess up the faces of the mesh with this method if you're not careful but the results give a good sense of depth to the dirt patches and the paths. I can also create this small pond very quickly and easily. You can also pro-builderize models and edit them directly in Unity instead of having to use an external 3D modeling software. This makes it really easy to select and update materials of specific faces, which gives this feeling of grass growing on the rocks. I created the vines by painting on a 64x64 64 64 canvas with a white color. I use white because then I can use any color from my color palette later on. I then import the PNG and put it on a pixelized material. I can then drop that material onto a plane and resize it which gives the effect of a vine hanging off the edge of the rock. I then added a few more rocks, grass patches, and flowers to make the empty areas more interesting. I got a little tired of the player model walking everywhere, so I added a blend tree that blends between a movement X and movement Z direction to allow the player to have smooth transitions between walking and running. Motion X and motion Z tie directly to which direction the joystick is being pushed from value 0 to 1. I selected the 2D freeform directional blend type, which I chose because I didn't want the walking animation to blend automatically, and so I put the walking animations in all four directions, and I won't start running until the direction is at least 0.3. Now the player can run through our new level. As we are still in the system building phase, my next goal is to start working on a questing system. We also have a basic dialogue system, which I am excited to start expanding on. So hopefully I will have a video out soon showing the progress of that system. Anyways everyone, if any of you have anything you'd like to see in a next video, please let us know in the comments. For those who enjoyed, please consider liking the video, and if you want to see more devlogs like this one, subscribing with the notification bell on will help you stay up to date. Thanks for joining me for this devlog, and I'll see you next time.